And joining me now is Massachusetts Democratic Senator Ed Markey. He is a leading advocate on climate change legislation in Congress. Uh, Senator, thanks for joining us. So, well, let me first ask you about what you just heard there from Mitch McConnell. I mean, he's the top Republican in the Senate. He's got the votes, at least on paper. You've got Republicans running in the, uh, running the House. Whether you like it or not, can the Republicans basically blow up this deal? Uh, no, they cannot. What the president did was no negotiate um, under the 1992 treaty that was ratified by the United States Senate. Uh, what he has done in increasing fuel economy standards for our vehicles, the largest single reduction in greenhouse gases ever, and put on the books the clean, the clean power plan for power plants in our country. Uh, he has done that pursuant to the Clean Air Act, which is the law of the country as well. So the president is acting under existing legal authority uh, to make promises to the world on behalf of the American people, which are enforceable under existing U.S. law, which is separate from Mitch McConnell and Republican leaders saying they want to change the laws in our country. You know, you had a John Kasich's campaign putting out a statement saying that the, the president intentionally crafted this deal. This deal was intentionally crafted to avoid ratification, a treaty ratification by the Senate because he knew it wouldn't get through the Senate. Do you think there's something to that? Uh, not at all. He is negotiating pursuant to a treaty, and he is using existing executive branch authority. So there was no necessity to bring a treaty before the United States Senate because everything that he has done is under the laws of our nation. And so they are trying to talk to the climate deniers across the country uh, who don't want anything to happen, who don't want a wind and solar revolution, who don't want a dramatic increase in the fuel economy standards, which uh, we have for the vehicles which we drive in our country. But they are just dead wrong in terms of the legal authority which the president has. Let me ask you another a practical question, though, about this, and it, that is this basically has to be revisited in the year 2020, and no matter what, we will have a different president in the year 2020. It could be a Republican president. We haven't seen any Republicans come out and say anything nice about this deal. If a Republican is elected president next year, is this deal in jeopardy? Look at right now, as we debate the tax break extenders, as we debate the budget, the Republicans are talking about lifting the ban on the exportation of American oil, even as we still import 25% of our oil from Saudi Arabia and Iraq and Algeria and Nigeria, and that's for excellent and that will lead to 140 power plants worth of additional pollution that goes up into our atmosphere, even as we have young men and women over uh, in the Persian Gulf. And they're also pledging that they're going to try to strip the EPA of its authority if, in fact, there is a Republican president. So this is going to be a big election about big things, our national security. Are we going to export our oil? Even as the Republicans are fighting right now to keep $7 billion of tax breaks on the books for Exxon Mobil and the other oil companies, they're fighting right now to phase out the $7 billion worth of tax breaks for wind and solar. So, yes, they're going to be at this. They're going to be trying to undermine it as the years go by. But I think the overwhelming majority majority of Democrats, Republicans, and independents as they see this plan uh, uh, implemented, as they see the clean energy revolution unfolding, as they see how the rest of the world is responding to our leadership, they are going to reject those arguments. All right. Ed Markey, Democratic Senator from Massachusetts, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And we'll bring back in our 